the next the next uh, order, I guess, that he's trying to get is the boxing license. Has there been any type of discussion with this? Well, he he now has a, he has an agreement that he uh, has agreed to. He has a settlement agreement he's agreed to. So he needs to drop his uh, legal action that he was talking about taking. He needs to pay his fine and pay the attorney, and then he would be eligible for a boxing license. You know, that could happen today, and it could happen whenever it happens. So, but from this point forward, I just signed that before I came and talked to all of you. So as long as he does what he's agreed to, he's probably going to get a boxing license. So can the license can still also complete the community service or just pay? Uh, we would still issue him, I believe, the license as long as the fine is paid. I have a lot of faith that he'll do the community service and he'll do it well based on my discussion with him. So that's, that's something that we will manage between the fighter and the athletic commission. But as far as the state statutes concerned, I have to have a fine paid. When you sat down with Connor, did you discuss in, uh, in particular the boxing uh, license? Um, no, we really stayed focused on um, his, his last uh, adjudication and the, and the dollar amounts and how he felt about it and, you know, his... Uh, and he was very professional. It was a great meeting with him. I mean, he was, uh, a lot of times these fighters are completely different people than you see in the public. Most of the time they are. So it's good to not have, uh, have these conversations sometimes in public and really get down to what the fighter's thinking, where they're at, what they want to do. Um, yeah, I mean, there's no secret that's out there. Everybody's talking about him boxing, but we didn't get into that. Once a boxer is licensed, can they, is, are they licensed to box anybody professionally, or would it have to be specifically sanctioned to be uh, May McGregor Mayweather? The bout will still have to be approved. You know, just to have, have the boxing license is one thing, but there still would need to be an approval of a date. Uh, they would need to run, they would need to go through all of the same processes that any other event does to have the card approved uh, and have the bouts approved. And, you know, I can't tell you that we would approve that fight or not. I think that we, you know, I would, I would lean to the fact that we most likely would. But we would probably want to go watch McGregor in a little bit of a boxing uh, environment. But, you know, I mean, it's, it's kind of hard to, to argue. You got one of the best, you have the best boxer probably of all time against one of the best strikers in the UFC. Uh, and, and if that does happen, I mean, we're just speculating now, but, you know, I think it'd be hard to not approve that fight. Okay.